after I graduate from high school, I want to go to, I want to go away to college. I want to go to Ohio State for four years. I'm looking forward to living on my own because I'll be glad to leave my mom and not have her tell me where the world anymore and her passing me around stuff. It's normal for a teenager to dream of living on his own, and Guy's wish may come true, but not in the ways he has planned. In an effort to give him more independence, his mother is preparing an apartment for him, located behind the house where they live. But Guy is still dependent on the services of a full-time aide, and although he has made progress in many areas, Guy has been unable to master some key skills, such as counting money. Well, two quarters make 50 cents. That's right, they do. And where's 50 cents on this? Right there. Okay, so if I put another marker there, now you're telling me that these two coins make 50 cents, and before you were telling me that all of the coins made 30 cents. Does that make sense? No. Why not? Because that wouldn't be going in order. No, we're not talking about order. In addition, trauma to his brain has made abstract thinking impossible. Abstract thinking is something that no child does. If you ask a child five years old, what does it mean to say people who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones, they'll tell you that the glass will break. But if you ask somebody 20 years old, they'll give a more abstract kind of conclusion to that. Uh, that's supposed to develop at about junior high school age. So a child who's 12 will begin to answer those questions in an abstract way. Guy is now well beyond that age when one would expect abstract thinking to have started. And the fact that he doesn't have it now means that he probably will not get it. But for all his disappointments, Guy has also experienced many successes. Do you think it should be capitalized? No. No, that's right. So the interesting thing about Guy is that he had a left hemispherectomy and the left hemisphere the primary function is language functions. However, with Guy, because he did have seizures and other uh, you know, traumatic injuries to his brain prior to the surgery, it appears that the right side took over many of the functions. And so the last time he was evaluated, he had a thorough evaluation. Uh, it was determined that his oral language skills were actually an area of strength for him. How is language possible for someone who is lacking the hemisphere of the brain that is normally responsible for this function? The answer lies in a phenomenon called plasticity, a sort of rewiring of the brain. One of the very important things that we've learned over the past 30 or so years is that the brain is capable of substantial rewiring, especially the brain of young individuals or, or young animals. And, that's especially true when the lesion is only on one side, a unilateral lesion. We know from experimental animal studies that when the damage is on one side, the opposite side of the brain actually takes over a number of the functions that would normally be mediated by the injured side. That is true of language functions, other high, higher cognitive functions. It's even true to uh, some extent of more basic functions like just movement ability. So a person who uh, uh, loses part of the ability to move uh, an arm or a leg. If that injury happens very early in development, the opposite side of the brain can actually grow some new connections and help to achieve a recovery of function of that limb that would be otherwise paralyzed if the injury occurred in, a, in an adult organism. Structural plasticity refers to the, in a sense, the malleability of the brain to um, deal with insult um, and then sort of recover from the insult in a physiological sense, in a physical sense, to um, make new connections between neurons, to um, reorganize from the cellular level on up. That makes sense. Functional plasticity is, in a sense, on the level of the mind, cognition, and it refers to the ability to compensate for or recover from um, insult or injury so that 
an aspect of human cognition can develop or recover when a part of the mind is injured because the brain that serves as its you know, substrate is injured. Behind or in front of, excuse me, in front of 29? Yes. Okay. As one of a small number of hemispherectomy patients in the world, Guy's progress has been watched with great interest by a number of scientists.